Universe Trillion Theory. Welcome to Trillion Theory. Trillion Theory is a new universe theory founded by Canadian theorist, pen name Ed Luke. This is one of 30 videos in my Trillion Theory series. For the full-length cosmic story, go to my YouTube channel, Universe New Trillion Theory. This is video 18 featuring the light ocean, the space cavern, and time. This is part A, light ocean. Astro buffs interject. Where does Trillion Theory get the energy or matter to grow the cosmos larger? We've been told that there is a limited supply of matter, which was spread out by Big Bang. So how can a cosmos grow? Big Bang believes that empty space awaited the first drop of matter that magically exploded into cosmic spheres, solar systems, and galaxies. Trillion Theory says that there is super science at work in our cosmos. Much more is afoot here than meets the eye. Clever scientific design. Only two things involved. Light is the incredible material that can spin into matter and later recycle back to light. And black holes are the engines that spin light into matter to build a sphere and billions of years later recycle that matter back to light. Trillion Theory proposes that our cosmos began as a static ocean of frozen light. An endless energy supply. A trillion years ago, at the cosmic start, all that existed was an endless frozen ocean of light. Today, this limited supply of light is still accessed by black holes. Frozen light? Scientists in the lab have stopped the speed of light to zero, basically freezing it. When a black hole entered the frozen light ocean, it deployed terrific spin to dislodge frozen light chunks which jumped to light speed, only to be swallowed up by the black hole as it spun that fresh light into matter. A trillion years ago, dating back to the cosmic origin, black holes began their vital work. Trillion Theory, Discovery Number One. Black holes spin light into matter. Black holes are incredible entities. They capture light for the specific purpose of spinning it into matter. Discovery number two, black holes build cosmic spheres. A black hole vigorously captures light, spinning that light into matter to erect a spheroid of matter around itself. Discovery number three, black hole cloaks inside its sphere. After a black hole spins enough light into matter, it resides hidden for billions of years inside the sphere it built. There's a cloaked black hole inside of our Earth, our Moon, and our Sun. Discovery number four, black holes supply spin and gravity. A black hole provides actual spin and gravity to the sphere it occupies. Trillion theory discovery number five says that there is a small black hole at the core of every planet and moon and a larger black hole inside of the sun centering a solar system and a supermassive black hole at the hub of every galaxy. As more black holes entered, they freed more light, expanding the size of the cavern inside the light ocean. Several black holes were held in orbit by the gravity of the largest black hole, thus forming the first ever solar system. Over time, more and more black holes entered, forming more solar systems, which led to the first small galaxy. Black holes are cosmic worker bees. At the far edges of the cosmos, black holes access more ocean light so they can build another sphere. This action further expands the space cavern. It also frees extra light to travel through space for use by new solar systems and galaxies. Quadrillions of black holes work the cosmos. A supermassive controls an entire galaxy while smaller black holes supply rotation and gravity to suns, planets, and moons. This is Part B, Space Cavern. Space, the final frontier. What is space? Most might say that space is the emptiness that a Big Bang exploded into, but Trillium Theory says no. Space was that empty void left behind when black holes spun light into orbs. When a black hole entered the frozen light ocean, it deployed terrific spin to dislodge frozen light chunks which jumped to light speed, 
only to be swallowed up by the black hole as it spun that fresh light into matter. When a black hole entered the frozen light ocean, it deployed terrific spin to dislodge frozen light chunks which jumped to light speed, only to be swallowed up by the black hole as it spun that fresh light into matter. As more black holes entered, they freed more light, expanding the size of the cavern inside the light ocean. Several black holes were held in orbit by the gravity of the largest black hole, thus forming the first ever solar system. At the cosmic origin, all that existed was an ocean of frozen light. The first black hole broke away frozen strands. It quickly devoured any free light, spinning it into matter around itself. The ratio of emptiness dwarfed the small size of the orb built by the black hole. Within the light ocean, a vacated empty space surrounded the black hole. Today, there exists a vastness to space. Proportionally, when a black hole spins light into matter, the orbit builds is only a millionth the size of the vast empty space cavern its actions create. Ratio of the sphere to space. Look out at the night sky. You will see gravity stations where light is tightly packed into a dense orb by the black hole residing inside. The orb holds the trap light's weight and heat. Left out in the cold is the surrounding weightless void called space, millions of times faster than the orb. Black holes are cosmic worker bees. At the far edges of the cosmos, black holes access more ocean light so they can build another sphere. This action further expands the space cavern. It also frees extra light to travel through space for use by new solar systems and galaxies. This is Part C, Time Imported. A different look at time. Einstein said that time stops at the full speed of light. But when light reaches the time station of a black hole, such as inside our Earth, the light ray bends and slows below the full speed of light. Time is a measure of the duration during which light slows, bends, or spins as an atom below light's full speed, and that duration could be billions of years. Time is imported into black hole areas. Time is a measure of the duration during which atoms continue to spin under the control of a black hole sphere before they can finally escape back to light. Time is imported to our cosmos by black holes. Time does not exist at the full speed of light, but time does exist for light when it enters the gravity area surrounding a black hole. This gravity bends, slows, and spins light into matter so that time exists. Black holes are time stations where time is the duration of being below the full speed of light. Where does time exist? Empty space is a place where time doesn't exist, but time does exist where black holes have imported time, such as in the gravity area of a planet, moon, sun, star, solar system, or galaxy. Time does not exist for a light ray traveling through space, but time does exist as light enters the gravity station of a black hole. Matter changing back to energy departs a time zone. An atom does its final unravel and departs our sun. For billions of years, it has been in the time zone of the sun's black hole. The escape completes its recycle of matter back to energy, so it is free to travel at its full speed, and for it, time won't exist. Trillian theory has five proofs that it predicts will be substantiated in the future. Proof number four for Trillian theory could occur right in a physics lab. What if we emulate a black hole in a lab? What if light can be coiled into a spin? What if light can be spun to form matter? This would prove the reason that black holes attract and spin light is to forge atoms. Trillian theory calls on physicists to discover how to spin light into atoms to emulate a black hole. In my futuristic sci-fi novel, The Trillionist, a young man builds a Quantronics machine to spin light into atoms of valuable, pure elements. My Trillion Theory video series is based upon Trillion Theory's seven book series. If you are an astronomer, an astrophysicist, or a physicist, please partner with Trillion Theory. If you are an investor who likes upside potential, or an angel investor wishing to be part of a legacy, email theory1 at telus.net. 
For more on Trillion Theory, go to the next video in the Trillion Theory series. And the Trillion Theory, the full version, is now available. To take action, share my Trillion Theory videos and click the subscribe button to receive more of my YouTube videos and visit my website, trillionus.com. This is an opportunity to believe in Trillion Theory.